All right, so there's two ways to review this shoe. We can review it as purely a running shoe, or we can review it as an aesthetic, running inspired lifestyle shoe. Right. So, which route you want to go? Mm, let's start with running. No. Absolutely not. No. Not even in the slightest way. Not possible, really. If you're a jogger, a runner, professional, inspiring, any... No. This is not it. I never had a shoe... Well, I'm lying. I had a shoe once. I was just that bad. But it's been a while. It has been. That's just been like... I put it on. I'm like, oh. I hope it breaks in. I hope it gets better as we go. Nah. It didn't. Nah. This is like those relationships you get in. You're like... You know they're not the one, but you hope things will like get better and change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. This ain't it. This is this is one of those. Yeah. This is the toxic relationship of a shoe. Oh, gosh, and I hate it because I was legit excited about it. Yeah. Legit, like oh, brand black. They they were kind of like with Sketches for a while. Mm -hmm. They kind of branched off, did their own thing, more creative, you no know, more creative freedom, all that nice stuff. And I'm not sure if this is their first running shoe. And maybe they'll come back and do something different, but it, it hurts. It hurts me to say this, but this is not it. And I feel like I can't give much positive, but let's start off with the just the structure of the shoe. The uppers. The uppers is interesting. You have these like little wires and kind of like string overlays over the mesh. The mesh is very um, plasticky feeling. Yeah, it feels like very cheap and weird. No. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, like a shower curtain with yeah. like pieces of like lining on it. And it's, it's interesting, but it's just not very functional. Right. And just, to me, it wasn't very breathable. Yeah. Like, I know we're in Texas and it's always hot. It's hot right now. I'm sweating. But it just, maybe the color and just on a side note, the color, colorways. When I saw yours, I was like, you know what? That's a pretty looking shoe. It's different. Yeah. You know, but... I'm not mad. It's, it's like it or hate it. Right. Yeah. Initially, when I saw the shoe, I was like, oh, but yeah, after looking at it a bit closer, wearing it, running in it, I'm not about it. I have to be honest. Yeah. And aesthetically, the, the men, this black pair, yeah. it's so bad. Yeah. Like yours, it's crazy how colorways can change the way a shoe can look. Right. This is the same design, just different colorways. And this mm -hmm. one's definitely just, I don't know. It's, I'm not feeling it. Maybe if I had yours, I like it a little better, but it's just, yeah. even then, you really can't save the shoe. Um, you do have a little, kind of a pull tab. It's not much of, it's, it's, it's there. It's better than nothing. I will give it that. Right. Like, you know, that, that feeling above your foot when you put it on? Mm -hmm. it, just felt, it just felt stiff. Like, it was, right. looking, like, was invasive really there. Right, yeah. Especially compared to the shoes that I've been wearing recently. They're so breathable and flexible, and it's like I, my foot feels trapped in this. Uh, true to size, you think, fit-wise? Definitely true to size. Um, it could be, it kind of was a little snug in the toe area for me, but... Yeah, for me it was, I mean, average. I, I wouldn't say snug. I complained if things were really snug. It was just like, mm -hmm. I think I had so much else to think about. I wasn't worried about the fit at that point. I was just yeah. like, you know what, let me just get to the other points. Um, so the foam, the foam here is interesting. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it's called. It's a super critical Jolton, that's what it says, but... I'm not sure what the foam is actually called. The foam's not bad. Right. It's um the foam itself is not bad. And it's like such thick cushioning down here. You'd think that the shoe would be like more cushy when you run on it, but that's not the case for me. It's still like really hard. That's the worst. When you have like a lot of cushioning and it's not even like couple cushioning, it's just a lot of It's just a lot of fabric or material there. And it also is kind of weird that it's so much taller. Like I feel like you know, I'm actually like standing off the ground a bit more. It's basically like wearing heels. Dang. I mean, I thought the foam had a little bit of a bounce. Like it wasn't. I, I've I've seen worse foam, but just the way they implemented it into the shoe was just not working. Mm -hmm. Also, I would say you have Vibram rubber. Yeah. So Vibram was known for being durable. Uh, they put a lot of it in here, and so durability-wise, you're good. You're good to go. I will say, because of the rubber, I think the rubber combined with the foam made the shoe very stiff. Yeah, it is really stiff. And it 
feels that way when you're running. It's not a very smooth ride. Yeah, definitely. It feels like I'm like forcing myself to take a stride. It's like I'm fighting the shoe to just go. Right. It's hard to get a rhythm. Yeah. Like I think the furthest I got my shoe before I was just like, okay, this is fresh ready me. It was like four miles. And I was like, I'm good. How far did you get in the shoe before you were just like, all right. I think I just ran like maybe two or three miles. And just. And then took off the shoes and wore different ones. Wow. Yeah. So, I, you know, I had that same thought. And then I tried to break it in over the weeks. Mm -hmm. And just not it. Yeah. Just, I There's kept so trying. There's so many other better shoes. Yeah. Less it's like, expensive shoes. Yeah. And these are expensive. Yeah. That's the. How much, how much they cost? Put your phone out. Where, where, where's the price tag at? These shoes cost $225. No. See, I think they're trying to be like, maybe they're like fashion shoes, mm -hmm. but these are kind of like, to me like, trying to blend like the Balenciaga into yeah. a running sh I don't, I don't know. Maybe you can describe it better what you think about it is. I'm not sure what they're going for. Yeah, my first impression was they're definitely going for like the more chunky, fashionable, like dad sneaker, uh, Balenciaga and other like high fashion brands are kind of doing that. It's trending, but it's not really what you want to look for in an athletic shoe. So like I, I get, you know, the appeal visually, but functionality wise, it's pretty off putting. I don't know. Sometimes I want to say like, this is what you can fix in version two. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, just, even the, the tongue was hot. Like even the, the flat, like floppy tongue. Yeah, it, and it like slid for me yes, after a while. Like it, it moved. didn't stay in place. Pretty tragic. That's the lifestyle shoe. If you like mm -hmm. the way it looks, it's the way it looks. Yeah. I go grocery shopping in these. So guys, after the review, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment. What do you guys think about these shoes? I know other reviewers reviewed it, and I haven't watched the reviews, but I'm guessing they probably didn't say anything bad about it because no. They're trying to be nice. We try to keep things honest here. If I love something, I love it. Mm -hmm. If I don't, I don't. If I hate it, I hate it. Yeah. It's, you know, and I, I hope that, you know, Brand Black will like reach out maybe on version two or something more like, something they feel more confident in that I would like, but I understand and we, once you kind of like say something bad about a shoe, most brands leave and then never come back. Yeah. But I get it, I get it. But this is part of the game. I'm, I'm, one, I'm one of the few honest reviewers who just say what they, what, what they actually think and not worry about the politics and the, the, right. the brand city more stuff and being nice and click the link down below. Um, links will be down below if you want to try the shoe. I don't yeah. want to like say, but if you're like into that kind of shoe, Cause there's been shoes that I hate that people seem to love. Yeah, it happens. So it happens. So if you're one of those people. It's just an opinion, guys, but an honest one at least. Well, with that said, be sure to stay in school. Do not do drugs. And if you can, follow us on Instagram. You no, know, right here. You yeah. Know, and then right here. And then and after you're done doing that, you can keep it tight.